Ah, welcome back my gardening friends. Well, just wanted to share with you some of the seed saving that I'm doing or going at the moment. These are the banana shallots, long red Florence and you can just see there uh, some of the seeds are now uh, coming out. Not sure what you can see but you can see it a, a little bit better on the, the Zabroon. There's the seeds just there. But these are popping open. There's absolutely uh, hundreds in those. And they're just uh, they're coming out all over the place. Uh, those are the knitting, the wool bags that the wife has the uh, her wool delivered in. And uh, this is ideal for this, plenty of ventilation. Uh, there's some of the seeds from the giant onion. The seed head from the variegated onion. Again, with nothing showing on the variegated or p the Peter Glazebrook one. Uh, some of the peas that we had from the Shed Wars, the Sugar and Snap pea, the Sugar Prince pea, and uh, some uh, Knee Plus Ultra that I managed to salvage when I stripped the uh, plants back. They were originally from uh, Bill and Val's uh, allotment. So thank you to Bill and Val again. I didn't get a lot of the grizzly shallots and I saved those, pickled the rest. Same as the uh, Golden Gourmet, saved, uh, saved the best uh, to uh, plant on again. These are the uh, elephant garlic originally from my Curtis and I am going to be saving um, the best half a dozen cloves. Uh, the rounds that never split, I'm just going to eat those. I'm not going to plant them again. Uh, may as well just plant the best and hopefully get the best back. The Apria, uh, still got to sort some of these out and uh, these smaller ones I'm going to plant and take uh, the greens and uh, uh, treat them as like spring onions. Uh, they don't get awfully big, these. I've still got to try a few, see how they're doing. Uh, this is the red Russian garlic that I originally got from William Coleman's garden and allotment. And uh, yeah, they look okay. And these, uh, as you can see, the uh, threw up the seed heads and again they've thrown all these little miniature ones out and again I'll uh, try and grow those and eat the greens see what happens you can grow these on it just takes such a long time to get them uh, to uh, maturity uh, Alan's uh, from the Dawn Chorus plot the walking onions uh, I was quite pleased with those but you can see these are already starting to grow so these should be in the ground now so I'll uh, get a few of those in, whether I'll eat those and uh, plant some of the, uh, the better ones. Something like that. Uh, I'm not going to plant a great deal of everything this time because uh, I'm still trying to sort myself out. But definitely don't want to lose any of these varieties. These are the French Breen uh, Cobra. And I'm going to... I have, I've favoured the Pongos so uh, I'll, I'll save a few of these but uh, wait for these to die off and then uh, strip them all out there's uh, absolutely loads on here that we didn't get to eat because uh, i favored uh, the uh, pongos and uh, this whole bed now uh, i'm going to let those go to seed because i'm getting such a lot of nice fresh young beans uh, from uh, there the french bean uh, uh, variety And I will be saving uh, some more of these uh, peas as well. Uh, these are the Kent uh, Blue. Lovely, uh, lovely flowers on them. And uh, I've let these go a bit too far at the moment. And uh, I'm not quite sure what variety of those. Let's have a little look. There's the uh, Knee Plus Ultra. And there Kelly's uh, the uh, Sugar Snap. And need to get these picked before they get uh, too big. Ideal for my lunchbox. Still getting a few uh, long beans coming, but the trouble is, as soon as you leave a few of the uh, beans on and they start going to seed, 
then they uh, stop producing. But uh, I've definitely had my fill and uh, Mr. Robin saying hello. But I'll, uh, I'll save a few of these, but I'm not going to grow so many long beans next year. I'm favouring the um, French bean Pongo. Radish is always a, a good seed uh, to save and to eat. Uh, these seed pods are delicious uh, at this stage and uh, there's plenty of them and it's uh, still flowering so excellent for the pollinators and excellent for us because one radish will produce absolutely loads and loads of seed which I've uh, thoroughly uh, enjoyed. I'm not saving any radish seed because I've got absolutely loads from last year. Uh, Mrs K really has enjoyed the uh, mini bells and I'm just leaving them now just to go a little bit more over and all I'm going to do with these is select four good ones and put them into the top of a pot with some composting let them break down slowly because I made the mistake last year of covering them with compost and they started growing again and these will eventually the tomatoes that we do save will go in the fridge to uh, be kept cool and we'll warm them up in the spring and we'll have our new lot of uh, tomato at Minibel. Keep Mrs K happy. I've got quite a few nice varieties of potatoes here. Most of these will stay in the ground until spring and we'll harvest them. We'll start there and work this way. And we harvest a few different sorts. Some are bigger than others. And I will eventually save uh, half a dozen to a dozen of each variety and uh, sow them again and uh, if you do dig them all up yeah, you just got to keep them in a cool dark place uh, I, I use uh, my uh, outdoor uh, or my shed uh, uh, refrigerator uh, these are the strawberries that uh, we shop bought strawberries we we got the uh, it's a massive variety uh, we sliced or sliced the skin off these. You can see the seeds. Pop them in some compost similar to the tomatoes and then warm them up in the spring. And uh, we ended up with uh, all these three. These two and another one over on uh, plot one. And uh, I've been trying to uh, keep... Uh, keep uh, them... Uh, flower free as you can see there we sliced them on the 18th of the 8th 2020 these should produce some nice strawberries uh, next year we don't always have to seed save you can take the runners I've taken uh, nearly 150 uh, runners from the strawberries that we had give me very easy to take the uh, take runners and uh, we showed you how I did that uh, this year I'm going to be leaving uh, a few of the tomatoes on as well and some of the peppers and some of the cucumbers I shall leave uh, one of the peppers on and uh, take the seeds from those and we've got some oh, there's, there's a cucumber somewhere it must be that one of, uh, I'm going to see if I can get um, any seed from this one i've got no more seed left so it'd be nice to be able to grow that one again and the same uh, with the one from emily if it doesn't work we can always buy some seed uh, still blight free in the uh, polytunnel i've taken all the carrots out so the uh, rats don't uh, eat the carrots and uh, they're having a little nibble uh, on the tomatoes now could be mice damage as well if you've got a, a favourite uh, onion and it's uh, done really well, there's nothing to stop you in the spring uh, planting this again and uh, it will uh, throw up one of the uh, flower spikes which you can collect at the end of the year. The courgettes have slowed right down now since we took some of the leaves off because of the mildew issues. So they've been coming off really small now. So I don't think I'm going to be able to save any of those for seed. This is one of the uh, giant cabbages. Uh, there's a little bit of uh, green fly on, but there they flew the, through the spikes up. Some of these aren't viable seeds, I don't think. But uh, at the back there, 
there's quite a few and hopefully I'll be able to get some of these uh, seed pods saved so that uh, I can grow some more of these uh, giant uh, cabbages and uh, when we uh, cut these off at the bottom I'll leave the stump in and the root and uh, it should throw up some seed heads um, hopefully that won't blow before uh, Malvern which is now at, while this was recorded about two weeks away and of course uh, we've got the uh, wild uh, flower garden these are the uh, dahlias some of the heads have already uh, popped open but just to give them a hand to make sure the seeds uh, fall in the right place we just give them a helping hand but these will just scatter the cells and the birds will help you by eating them and perhaps uh, dis dis uh, dumping them uh, <laughs> elsewhere I must have a look actually to see if uh, that nice poppy the seed heads uh, are there but uh, I don't think the seed heads come to nothing so we'll probably let it uh, get established but uh, we'll let this self seed and once it gets far enough back we'll uh, we'll cut them down and uh, give them a good shake and leave them on the floor for a while so that the seeds get a bit of protection over the winter just a quick update on the leaf mould it's uh, very very wet uh, I've had to loosen it up and uh, I've had to add uh, some more silicon to that band because it wasn't able to turn because of the weight of the uh, leaf mould but what we are getting coming out is uh, really nice stuff and uh, the leaf mould rejects have been added to these uh, pallet collar raised beds got all that topped up now and the some of the strawberries in and once I've put some of that uh, manure in with the shavings I can then use the uh, leaf mole rejects uh, in the bottom of there and build up the layers like we did that one there adding uh, the soil uh, as we go to give it a bit of body hope you found that interesting I do try and save as many seeds as I can. What sort of seeds do you save? Just pop it in the comments and how you save them to help anybody else out. Happy gardening to you all. Till next time, my friends. ta -ra for now. Excuse me.